welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a 212A. It's a tier 9 Soviet SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Abbey and it's under the command of Steel Mike. And it appears we've got an idiot in chat um, using the minimap to make stupid drawings. Did a reverse swastika sticker there, which I find, I think some people, most people, find it rather offensive. Okay, well, Steel Mike's backing away, so he's behind the rock, and that should cover him from any enemy who happens to get to the Abbey. Well, he's decided instead he's actually going to go to a different position. Okay. Now he's aiming at the enemy, looking up the Abbey Road. Unfortunately, the enemy managed to get into that uh, Abbey grounds, but he's got the T-62 T by the rear and puts a round right up his ass. And that's 360, uh, 390 hit points of damage straight off the mark. He stunned him. Unfortunately, that T-54 lightweight is now about to meet a T-49, a TVP. And he's out the game, unfortunately. Yeah. So, Steel, Steel Mike has actually got the 203mm B4 howitzer on his RT. That can do alpha damage of 1050 and it's got a burst radius of 10.9 meters. But he spotted, yes, a Heshbon who's just died, so he can't shoot at that one now. TVP's come out of the Abbey grounds going after our Object 705. And there's, there's a T-54 there as well. He's gone for the, the T TVP. I mean, damaged both of them. He actually damaged the T-54 at the same time. TVP's been killed by the 705. But it looks like our 705's about to die to the T-54. Yes, he has. That T-54 is a bit of a threat, actually. But we've got an Object 268 ahead of us. So he should be able to kill him. Enemy RT is coming to sight. It's a batch at 155 58, right at the other end of the map. Instead, we're going to go for a T30. Who's going to go around that corner if we're not careful? It lands between him and the E75, stuns them both. I think that might have been Steel Mike's intention, actually, to stun them rather than actually damage them. Now, T49 is making a rush towards us. He fires uh, his uh, derp gun at the Object 268. Doesn't do any damage, but he can probably reload by the time he gets up here. And, of course, he will make us a target for their RT if he does come up here. And he is coming up here. Okay, we're going for a shotgun. And we don't need to worry because he is taken out. But we were seen, so we need to move forwards and quickly get behind cover. Because enemy RT will be firing at us very shortly. Enemy RT knows how good... RT can be. Okay, a couple of enemy tanks down here. The Batchat 25T, which is the tier 9 version of the Conqueror. He's in a hold down position. We're going to move him out of that hold down position with some HE. 294 hit points. I think Steel Mike might still need to move from his current position. It could be the batch at 155.58 was in reload at the time that he was spotted, so that's why he didn't fire. I know Steel Mike ignored the batch at at the same time. Almost ready to go again. Lined up. Rounds out. He moves slightly, but it's still a direct hit on the engine deck of the Conqueror, and he's been killed by our Object 140. Now, enemy RTs... Oh, both of them are in the woods. There's the Batch at 155.55. He's moving as fast as he can into that wooded area. and uh, It looks to me like it, they've gone to that corner for security. I'm pretty sure we saw the Batch at 155.58 over there. And in fact, actually, both of them are going for that corner. Going to try a shot on the 155-55. Long range shot. Oh, he got a bomb in here. He took out both of them with one shot. And that is also a counter battery, I think. No, it's not a counter battery. There's still one RT in play. An M53, M55. So he's got to hunt that guy down 
before he ends up with the counter battery medal. Well, there's only two enemies left. The M53, M55, who's been found in the corner. And, well, Steel Mike's going to be loaded momentarily. If he can put a round into that corner, it's a counter battery. Rounds out. Here we go. Yes, he gets it. So, Steel Mike gets three kills and a counter battery and a bombardier. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's the first class tanker for Steel Mike in the 212A. He got a counter battery because he took out all three of the enemy RT this, on this occasion. And he got a bombardier because two of the enemy RT tried to make a dash for the gate to get out and get away from the enemy who were coming towards them from the west. And they drove straight into the corner and found that there was some of the enemy already waiting there. And so they parked themselves in the corner. And, of course, Steel Mike put a round in and blew both of them up. And, well, one, two kills, one shot. Very nice. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got ten out of that game. And his win eight from the game was 3,332, which is super unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. Didn't get the highest damage in this game. The Object 268 got 3,735 hit points, and that's regarding our cap. 3,004 hit points for the Object 140, who was very active on the River Road. And then we got Steel Mike with 2,807, and of course we know where he was. When it came to kills, it was Steel Mike. He got three kills. He was the only player who managed to get three kills. And then there's a bunch of other tanks who managed to get two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was the Object 140. He got 1,032 base experience points. 1,003 goes to Steel Mike and 991 goes to the Conqueror. He fired seven rounds, got four direct hits, no penetration, but 11 splash. 2,807 hit points of damage, all of it done at 300 meters. He damaged eight of the enemy, but killed three, and did 2,563 hit points of stun assist off seven stuns. On a premium count, he earned 52,545 credits, and after ammunition resupply, took away 39,175 credits. He received 1,504 XP times two for the first victory, took away 3,009 altogether. Now, this does sort of illustrate the same problem that we saw in the previous replay with Major Nuisance on Cliff and him getting a bombardier and a counter battery with one shot. In this case, though, it was a, a simply a matter of the batch at 155.55 and the batch at 155.58 going to the same spot at the same time, trying to escape, and then stopping there and allowing Steve Mike to, Steel Mike to land a shell near them was enough to actually take them out of the game. So it wasn't quite the same. They weren't firing from the same position, but they just happened to be in the same position at the same time for a happy accident, a serendipity. But uh, it does still illustrate the problem that Artie should not be in the same place at the same time, because if you... If it does happen, then not only do you get a chance of the Bombardier, you do get a chance of the counter battery as well. So, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.